Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to use Sunstorm Downgrader natively on Linux. Sunstorm Downgrader is a completely free tool and you can get it for free from its official GitHub page. This tool helps you tether downgrade your Checkmate devices without SH SH blobs. For this video, we will be using this iPhone SE, which is currently on iOS 15.7.1. We will tether downgrade it to 15.3.1. First of all, open the main GitHub page of Sunstrom and when you scroll down, you will see that here we have this Linux version. So just click here and you are on this GitHub page. Now hit code and download the zip file. Now after extracting the zip file, you will get this Sunstrom main folder. Now guys, first of all, you will have to install these packages in order for Sunstrom to work. So I will attach everything in a zip file in the description or in the pinned comment for you. So first of all, add this repo from here. Type in your password, press enter and let it add. Now once this is complete, just add this second command and press enter. Once this is done, you will have to install these packages. This includes Python and everything else which is required. So I have already installed them. Next, you will have to install this binary. Just drag and drop the command here. Once this is done, just drag and drop the second one and press enter this will install it once you're done with this just copy this command pip3 space install space hyphen r requirements dot txt and then open the downloaded sunstrom folder right click into it open a new terminal and now simply paste this command here this will install all the required stuff for Sunstrom to work. So I have already done it. That is why it is showing this text up. Next, you will need some binaries for this to work. They are also free. So I have included this source folder so that you can compile them yourself if you want, or you can simply open this mains folder, right click into it, open a new terminal here, and then type this command sudo mv asterisk slash usr slash local slash bin bin press enter type in your linux password and press enter this will move all these files to the required directory now you should be able to run these commands from anywhere so you can test it this includes Gaster also and of course Future Restore and all the other stuff which is required so that you can run that stuff from anywhere. Next up is getting the IPSW file for the version you want to downgrade to and you will need the latest blob for any signed version. So currently 15.7.1 is signed. Go ahead and get the latest blob for your device. First of all, let's get the IPSW. You can visit IPSW.me and then select your device. So I'm using this iPhone SE. So I will select this device from here. Simply scroll down. So I want to downgrade to 15.3.1. Scroll down and download the IPSW from here. Now to get the blob for the latest version, you can use blob saver you can head to its official github page it is completely free scroll down and you will see releases go ahead and download a release for linux download this dev file right click open a terminal sudo dpkg hyphen i drag and drop press enter Type in your Linux password and it will install the app for you. Now, while you are inside Blob Saver, 
click read from device it will automatically fill all the details up and click go and your blobs for the latest version are saved in this directory now once everything is done we can move towards sunstorm open the main sunstorm folder right click here open a new terminal now type here dot slash sunstorm dot py hyphen i i is the file for the version your ipsw now hyphen t t is your blob drag it in now for restore hyphen r hyphen d now here type the board config you can get the board config from inside the blobs file name like it is n 69 ap or you can use blob saver here you can check it out blob saver that here is your board config so n 69 uap for my device so i will type her n 69 uap now if you are using a 9 or older device you will have to add this flag hyphen kpp now press enter and you will see it is extracting the ipsw for you and if everything went correctly you will see the progress right here it will start rebuilding and everything else all right when this is 100 percent complete you will see would you like to restore now if you type yes or why you might see an error so type n and manually just copy this whole command from future restore to ipsw and paste it right here and before you paste type here sudo and paste it in now guys put your device in dfu mode all right so my device is in dfu mode you can run gaster from inside this terminal also but you can simply leave it here and open a new terminal and now so as i have told you that we can run those binaries from anywhere so i will run gaster from here sudo gaster pwn press enter type in the password for linux and let the gaster run you will see now you can boot untrusted images now we will close it out and we will run future restore to restore the device press enter type in the password and let future restore run and complete also guys so you can see that if everything went correctly future restore will start restoring the device now it will start extracting the file system from the ipsw and like so the restore process should start now it is the usual future restore downgrade process so now it is sending file system if you see any fdr error please ignore it the restore will finish As you can see everything went fine for me and we are at the checking file systems so as you can see the future restore process is almost complete all right so finally as you can see restoring succeeded now your device will be stuck in recovery mode or dfu mode now we will have to create boot files in order to boot our device now guys make sure that you are in the sunstorm directory if not you can cd into it now type dot slash sunstorm dot py hyphen i now drag and drop the ipsw hyphen t drag and drop the blob here now type hyphen b hyphen d now here type the board config so n69 uap is my device's board config next type hyphen id now the id is you can get the id from right inside the blob file name so it is iphone 8 comma 4 to confirm 
you can also head to ipsw.me and where your device is selected scroll down and you will see the identifier so my identifier iphone 8 comma 4 so now simply type iphone and your id so it is 8 comma 4 now i'm using a9 device so i will add iphone kpp and press enter now it will start unzipping the ipsw all right so if everything went correctly you will see the progress right here it will start converting extracting and everything else and guys finally your boot files are now created at this directory now guys let's boot the device now put your device into dfu mode again and then open the main sandstorms folder you will see this boot folder type as cd and simply drag this folder in and you are in this boot folder now open the scripts folder now type sudo bash and just drag this boot linux sudo into this terminal window now press enter type in your password now press enter and your device should start booting so for me this has worked but if you want to try these two scripts you can try this is for a9 devices and this is for a10 and up devices all right guys after booting and setting up the device you can check it out that i am on 15.3.1 on the same device iphone se lastly guys you can download the source code for the bins which is completely free from the main github page of sunstrom and if you scroll down you can check it out that you can download it from here and you can compile it yourself if you want you will also find the source code for the requirements here so that you can download them and compile them yourself if you are comfortable with it lastly guys if you have issues with this terror downgrading via sunstrom you can always get your device into dfu mode and use itunes to restore to the latest signed ios version that's all for this video if i have missed something let me know and if you have questions you can always ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye